On today's Star Wars Legends lore video, we talk about the most dangerous place in the galaxy and the demon Wutzek. Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Ladder. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Legends lore video. Today, we are talking about a very early Star Wars comic written by famed writer Alan Moore and published in 1981. The comic is called The Pandora Effect and takes place before the Empire Strikes Back. Han, Leia, and Chewbacca have become sidetracked during a mission, ending up on the planet Atahawks. Han makes the best of it by accepting a load of valuable medicine to smuggle. Leaving the planet, the Falcon is spotted and chased by a gang of pirates led by a man named Vor Childermoss. Han, knowing the pirate's reputation, attempts to flee into an area known as the Hell Hoop. The Hell Hoop is an area of space clearly inspired by the real-life Bermuda Triangle. Ships enter, but very seldomly return from the Hell Hoop. Han recklessly entering this part of space also explains the title, in my opinion, as his actions here will have great consequences, including the release of an ancient evil. As the Millennium Falcon, with the pirates still in pursuit, enter the Hell Hoop, a gigantic triangle-shaped ship appears, again another reference to the Bermuda Triangle in real life. This gigantic ship ends up swallowing the two smaller ships whole. It then seemingly folds into space, disappearing completely from reality. This strange entity is clearly behind the phenomenon of disappearing ships within the Hell Hoop. It's revealed that Han, Leia, Chewbacca, and the pirates have been captured by a group who call themselves the Five. The Five describe themselves as five pensive enlightened souls who live beyond dimensions and who worship evil. They also have control over this ship and seem to enjoy capturing, torturing, and eventually murdering anyone who runs across them. The Five are shown to be extremely powerful, with one of their members killing someone with a form of magic. As Han and Leia are brought to what the Fives call a recreational room, Chewie, who they wrongly identify as an ape, is brought to a makeshift zoo. At the zoo resides another captured creature, one known as the Wutzek. The Fives reveal that Wutzek is a demon, and that long ago his kind may have ruled the entire universe. Chewie is locked up with rudimentary shackles, while Han and Leia are brought further into the ship. The Fives, who clearly take pleasure in inflicting pain, start to torture Leia, attempting to break her soul with hallucinations and visions of demons. Back in the zoo, Chewie is easily able to escape from his shackles. He gazes upon the demon Wutzek, who is evidently encased in some sort of crystal. Chewie's gaze is accompanied by visions of the past. He sees Wutzek and demons like him ruling the galaxy with total evil. Still, desperate to save his friends, he cracks the crystal, releasing the demon. The Fives, realizing what has happened and knowing the great power of Wutzek, attempt to confront the demon and re-imprison him. Near Han and Leia, Wutzek appears and easily obliterates one of the Fives. He vows to imprison the group, saying that although they've spouted a knowingness of evil, he will show them true pain and torture. In what he calls his first moment of true gratitude, Wutzek allows Han, Leia, and Chewbacca to escape, even guiding them to the Millennium Falcon. Back in real space and in the Falcon, our heroes look back at the Fives' triangular ship. Suddenly, with great power, it explodes, and the demon Wutzek is released free among the galaxy. Leia asks Han if they just did what she thinks they did, and Han says, well, at least it's in Imperial space. So, in other words, a demon, a very powerful demon at that, is now free to roam among space, causing havoc, death, and destruction. And this is the same type of demon that apparently once ruled the universe a long time ago. It's actually a bit surprising, given that it was clear that this would never appear in future materials, that Alan Moore wasn't forced to close this loop. Nonetheless, such was the nature of early Star Wars Legends lore. I really hope you guys enjoyed this content and my weirder lore videos. I really enjoy doing them, so if you want to support the channel, make sure to give this video a like, consider sharing it with your friends, and watching as much of it as you can. Anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the force be with you.